One of you has asked uh, me to help with this particular question, uh, which is a question from Cambridge uh, examination. So all the credit goes to them for, for creating this question. And we are here together to, to solve it. Okay, what's going on? It appears to be some sort of sequence question. And usually these are yeah, the investigation uh, type of question on paper four. Yeah? And they say the first four diagrams in the sequence are shown above. Yeah? So that's term one, term two, three, and four. You have some white squares and then some gray squares in the middle. The diagram, uh, diagram, sorry, are drawn using white squares and gray squares, eh, like I just said. Okay, very good. Um, complete the columns in the table for diagram four and diagram n. And indeed, there is some sort of uh, table here, diagram one, two, and three, relating to these three diagrams. And then they say the number of white squares gray squares and then the total number of squares yeah so this is for diagram four so for that one and then we're going to do it for the nth diagram okay so the number of white squares for diagram four well i could actually just count them yeah couldn't i one two three four five six seven eight but it takes a little bit of a long time yeah, but however, if you have time left, just count it and make sure you're right. But hopefully you see that between each term, between each diagram, every time there are eight extra uh, white squares. So 28 plus 8, it's got to be 36, okay? But again, I could just simply count it and then I will shoot, or I should get 36 white squares. Okay, the number of gray squares. As you can see, 0, 1, 4, eh? 0, 1, 4. And then here I can count 9. But hopefully you realize already, because that will become important later, that this is like 0 squared, 1 squared, 2 squared, 3 squared. Okay, that will become later important when we answer uh, uh, that box. The total number of square squares, as you can see, 12 plus 0 is 12, 20 plus 1 is 21. 32, so we got to do 36 plus 9, and if you do that correctly, you're going to get 45, okay, so that's already quite a few points for not doing an awful lot, but now the end of term, yes, yeah, so I'm going to look at the row, what is going on here, well, you should be quite comfortable creating the end of term rule for a sequence like this, the term to term rule is plus 8, yeah, and otherwise, check my videos about this because I explained this uh, several times. The terms to, uh, term term rules plus 8. So I write down 8n straight away. But is my first term 8? No, it's 12. So I have to do it plus 4 to get 12. I had to go from 8 to 12. And I always check that for, let's say, term 3. So 8 times 3 is 24, plus 4 indeed is 28. So that must be correct. Good. Then the last box over here. Like I said, there are all these square numbers, yeah, but if I would just say, uh, for instance, do it on the side, if I would just do n squared, then I notice for term 1, 1 squared, it should be 1, but it says 0. And for term 2, it would be 2 squared, it should be 4, but it says 1, but the 4 is there. So actually, you should realize that it is n, but then minus 1 squared eh, to the power 2. So for the first term, it is actually not 1 squared, but it's 0 squared. For the second term, it's not 2 squared, but it is 1 squared, so 2 minus 1 squared. For the third term, it's not 3 squared, but it is 3 minus 1 squared. Okay, so that is the box over there. Six points in the pocket, thank you very much. I believe for another two points, they ask question B. Work out the number of diagram, Sorry, yeah, number of the diagram, I should say, which has a total of 480 squares. So then, the total number of squares is 480. So is that diagram 5, 6, 7, 8? That is the question. Well, they give me the end of term rule for the total number of squares. So if they tell me that, um, and let me, let me answer that question here on the side. Can I take this away? No, I can't. Okay. Um, they tell me that n plus 1 times n plus 5 is the total number of squares, and that now equals 480. Just by writing this down, I uh, most likely, or I know actually, already getting points. Good. So I have to solve it now, and then I'll find n. Yeah? So I'm going to expand n squared plus 5n plus n plus 5 
equals 480. So I'm going to simplify n squared plus 6n plus 5 equals 480. Now the strategy as I know by, uh, to solve a quadratic equation is to equal it to 0. Yeah, so it's not a linear equation. So I get 5 minus 480. I'm going to immediately do minus 475. Yeah, so I'm skipping one step because I don't have a lot of space left. Now it equals 0. I can use the formula. Uh, A is 1, B is 6, and C is minus 475. Or perhaps you see you can factorize it. N minus 19 and plus 25 equals zero so n is 19 had a zero product property or n is minus 25 however these are the two theoretical solutions but this is a practical situation they ask me which diagram yeah so minus 25 is actually a solution that i have to cancel out so only 19 is a solution in this case yeah so at diagram 19 apparently i will have 480 squares good hopefully that was useful um, you can go to my site explainingmaths.com to find more of these resources uh, and you can ask me your own question if you have any okay like and share this video um, if it was useful so your friends are also helped okay i'll see you later bye bye